Okay, I made available a whole bunch of new backgrounds that you can use within the SparkBlue software 7.0. If you downloaded the two that are in the more files on the SparkBlue users group page, and there are two others that are available that are in my Dropbox and there's a link to them, download them to your computer and save them. Here's where they're going to go in the layout editor so I can show you. Go into the layout settings. And in the layout settings, I just I don't care what layout's here. I'm clicking on the go into the layout editor. And in the layout editor, there's this little square with a pencil in the upper right. When you click on that, it gives you the opportunity to do a few more things. And there are images that are already built in called backgrounds. Okay, you can pick any one of these and use it as a background for a 4 by 6 layout. There's a bunch in here, probably about 50. Um, you know, most of them are just photo images, but you could use those. But you can add a bunch more, and this is how you would do that. Okay, normally you would click on the add, create a new background, okay, and you'd name this one whatever you wanted. I named it. 2x6 horizontal, 2x6 uh, vertical, 4x6 horizontal, 4x6 vertical. So I have different ones and they'll all show up in here. So you would add that and once you add that then you bring in those different background images into this folder by clicking on the plus sign of the folder. Okay, I'm going to click cancel. See right here if I were to click on the plus sign I want to add a new a whole new background set and it's looking for it. I'm going to hit cancel. Okay, I'm not going to make a new background. So I'm going to delete that. So that's just where they're going. I'm going to hit cancel. Now, how do you bring them in? Is in the main settings over here under advanced and import export. You go and click on import you go to where the files were saved on your computer, mine are on the desktop. We'll start with the 2x6 horizontal backgrounds, SVS, click open. It'll import it in, and when it's done, it'll click OK, it'll close, reopen. Once it fully reopens, it will have added those, that one folder of backgrounds, 2x6 horizontal. Now I'm going to go back into the backgrounds, into the layout, into the settings again, under advanced, import, export, click import, and I'm going to go to the second file that I have over here, and it was called vertical, 2x6 vertical, click open. It's going to import these settings in. Once it's done, it will say it's done, you click OK, it closes the program, reopens the program. And you do this to all four of them. And I'm going to go through doing it to all four of them because as you saw, there was only the one in there that's built in called backgrounds. I have two more here. I go into the settings under import export, click import. We'll find the third one. And, and the third one was called horizontal uh, four by six, importing the settings. It's done. It closes. It will reopen. Once it reopens, I go back into the settings. Um, back into the settings. And one more, which was the vertical, 4x6 vertical, which was this one right here. 4 by 6 vertical and importing it into the settings and once it imports it in here close it down and opens up then we're going to go in and I'll show you how all four of these have added a lot of new layouts that are already built in and you won't have to look for them on your computer because you've now built them into the software to make it faster when you're doing layouts so now I can get back into the settings 
back into the settings, and in the settings, I'm going to go back up into the photo booth, go to layouts, go into the layout editor, and now when I click on this pencil and square up here, under images, it has backgrounds, but now there are four more. So since this background that I need here is a 4x6 horizontal, I would click on that. Make sure it's on zero, because if you put it on something else and you select one of these, it's not going to look the same. Okay, it's shifting it. Okay, example, this one here, if I put it on 90 degrees, it shifts it completely. You want it on zero, because that's the way the layout was made. So if I wanted to use, let me scroll down here and find something like this one here. I click create and it will populate behind the layout sometime. Now, it's coming. It's going to be there. There it is. So now you have a background. So when you preview the, when you preview the layout, you'll see it now with a new background that you have built in. And if you don't like it after previewing it, come on, preview. If you don't like it after previewing it, you can basically go back in there and pick a different one, okay? If you wanted to use, some of these are double strips, horizontal, some of them are full, full image files. Let me see what I've got here. Might look good. Do some... There's a lot. I've got a lot in here, and it's only about halfway down, as you can see. And I click create; it will change it. Sometime today, bum ba da dum bum. It blinks, and it's done. Okay. So you have that ability, and if you're doing a layout that has uh, vertical style, okay, uh, two uh, two by six or, or four by six vertical back. Browns. So if you're doing double strips, there's a bunch of different ones in here, okay? Um, you can pick whatever you want, and it will put it in there as a double strip. Now, if I were to change one of these to 90 degrees, and then click, click on one, it puts it in sideways, but as you can see, 90 degrees, it doesn't. 90 degrees, it turns it sideways instead of up and down, because up and down it's not going to fill the screen. Let me cancel this here, so you've got a new layout. So that's pretty much how it's done. Just thought I'd let you know. Good luck.